force-fed nerd. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and the story today is that the U.S. Navy is looking into turning huge aircraft carriers, like the size of a city, into gigantic 3D printing factories that are floating on the ocean, capable of making not only replacement parts like NASA's currently doing, but also weapons, ammunition, drones, makeshift shelters, and so on and so forth. Benefits? The possibilities are endless. Carrying odd-shaped objects wastes space, where now we could just carry, say, rectangular-sized boxes of powder. Also, arms could be manufactured to purposely deteriorate over time, you know, just in case they fall into enemy hands or something. Now the deterrent. 3D printing is pricey as hell and not yet perfect. Weapons could misfire, shelters could collapse, and it takes a damn long time to print things. Obviously the tech is advancing at lightning speeds, but right now a gun would take about eight hours to print. Another serious threat is national security. Lieutenant Commander Michael Yenza, who says 3D printing will streamline the Navy's supply chain, expressed his concerns about national security, saying, what happens when the files being stolen include not just the design specifications of a top secret weapon, but the digital recipes to make it trivial to produce. So what do you think? Do the positives of 3D printing cyber warfare outweigh the drawbacks? Or is this tech that would be better left out of the battlefield? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click this annotation or go to sourcefed.com to see our typed out stuff. Also, if you want to get text messages on your phone every time we have a new video, you can go to motube.us slash sourcefednerd and check that out there. My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and I'm going to beat Megan Kubert. No, I'm not. No, she's too damn good!